Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Will and Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with your monthly January 2023 reading and the last reading of 2022. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't. For those of you liking and sharing the videos, Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you all so, so much. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right. So bittersweetness. This does come with some bittersweetness as this is the last video of 20. 22 moving right into 2023 also this is the last video of the 31 day december challenge that i put myself up to we did follow through we did get her done now it wasn't without twists and turns the year 2022 wasn't out without twists and turns and definitely december wasn't either we did lose a very precious person to us a few days before Christmas, so these last few days of uh, doing videos every single day have been a little bit more difficult for me. You may have noticed that the videos that tend to come out, or I do work hard to get out at a certain time during the week, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday ones at 7 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time, haven't really been coming up as early as I would like. It's been difficult. I've had some difficulties. I've had some procrastination getting them done, but here we are at the finale, at the end of it, ready to roll into a brand new year, ready for me to have a, a day or so off without recording or doing videos, ready to kind of take a step back, even just for a moment and allow myself to breathe and allow myself to, uh, move into the new space of the new year and to grieve a little bit as well. So, um, not to bring a, a sad note in, but, um, yeah, so this, this is kind of a bittersweet video for me. Um, maybe for some of you as well, if you've lost someone throughout 2022 or before or recently, I am sending lots of love, lots of hugs, virtual hugs to you. All right. Um, also, be sure to stay till the end of the reading as we will do the dice. And we do have some charms. So we're going to get some charms in here for this reading as well. But let's go ahead and jump in and see Aquarius. What? Wow. Way too many cards. Let's see. Let's get... Three more, spirit. Three more. Or, okay, we're not going to take all those because that's just way too many. <laughs> we're getting too many cards out here. This wasn't the plan, spirit. All right, that's two more. Okay. Three more, I suppose. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right, our first spot here, Aquarius, is the current energy moving into 2023. You've got the Apprentice of Wands. The Apprentice is the Page of Wands, and you've got the Crown of Swords. The Crown is the King. So with, isn't it interesting? You've got Passion coming through Fire with that Wands energy, uh, Creativity, and you've got kind of being in the mind or thoughts with your current energy. So with that page of wands energy, you have this energy as the current energy of really wanting to move into the space of freedom and adventure and feeling excited. Your current energy moving into 2023 is feeling, or here in January as well, is feeling excited, feeling adventurous, feeling this want or this passion for freedom within your life. Some of you in this current energy may be coming up with some fresh ideas, 
be very energetic moving into January and throughout January, okay? Now, with that King of Swords energy, that energy is coming in. This overall energy of your current energy with the King of Swords is really looking to move into January, into 2023, with a very kind of direct and truthful approach. Some of you may have been sugarcoating things, and you're excited to really move into a more truthful, a more direct approach in January in the new year and stop sugarcoating. Now, that doesn't mean to be rude or ruthless, but moving into this energy of really being true, okay? And not always saying what people want to hear, but what people need to hear. And I know that can be difficult because at times during readings and the messages that come through can feel um, a little bit difficult or a little bit um, stressful on my side. But there is that excitement with putting out that truth and putting out that direct energy as well. And that is the energy, the current energy that you are in here, Aquarius, really moving into the space of, you know, letting your head and your heart, your passion, your fire, and your thoughts, your mind, your opinions come together and blend beautifully in January and moving into the new year. This current energy, Aquarius, is gorgeous for you, okay? Now, let's see. Something important to think about in January. You've got the Hermit and you've got Justice. So, double um, major arcana cards coming in here. This is some big energy for you. This is something to think about energy with the Hermit and the Justice card coming in. You have this energy here around you, Aquarius, of really, some of you have really kind of, or, or something important to think about, is going within yourself and looking at the spaces where maybe you're reactive, maybe at the spaces where you are um, kind of glossing things over. <laughs> which that's your current energy. So something, this is, this is what you're, you are thinking about or something important moving into and through January. This is searching for truth. Some of you, right, because you have that, that King of Swords over here, something has not been truthful either that you've been putting out or that's been coming into you. And so something to think about for you in January, of course, is really moving into that place of truth. Your current energy is there and you're really stepping into this in a big way, in a way that, you know, um, some of you have denied yourself from for quite a while. It can, it can be difficult to speak truth to others and to ourselves, Aquarius, but you're moving into that energy in January and you're really allowing for that justice to come through. Really, some of you have really, um, you've been thinking about kind of, kind of cause and effect and how we can create our own struggles, our own problems, our own issues, and how others can create that for themselves as well. Sometimes we can tell people or we can move into the space of being like, no, it's okay, and, and oh, this, or, or even making excuses for other people, but this is what you've been thinking about, your current energy, and this something important to think about moving into, or in January, you've been thinking about cause and effect, kind of having that clarity, having that truth come out, and really, for some of you, stepping into this new space, this, this space of freedom, the space of adventure, the space of really, really, you know, talking your truth and walking your walk instead of um, living either, for some of you, with a mask or facade on that you're always sweet or nice, right, um, and or allowing others in a beautiful, gracious space uh, to continue with the same old stories they've been telling instead of stepping into that truth of who it is that they are or who it is that they can be. So you're really taking a lot of accountability. You're really being honest and truthful, not only with yourself here, Aquarius, but also with the people around you. And it's actually garnering you some respect, but it did, it is, you know, you're, you've been thinking about this for a minute and you're still thinking about this in January and stepping into it. Okay. Now something to surrender. Oh, wow. 
Wow, something to surrender in the new year and or in January as well, Aquarius. You've got the Tower and you've got the Knight of Vessels or the Knight of Cups coming in here. Wow, wow, big, big energy. So, wow, Aquarius, you are surrendering those Tower moments. You are surrendering that that idea of uncertainty or that impending doom kind of energy in January and really looking it's almost as if you've you've like really worked on your mindset or really worked on kind of the way you think or the way that you talk and and really you know with all of the truth coming out here you are no longer holding anything in you're you're letting things out but you're also moving into the space of you know, cleaning the internal so that your external can match up in the same way. No longer holding on to this feeling of upheaval within your life. You're moving into this area of this energy. This is this is something to surrender or something that you are surrendering. And with all the truth coming out here, Aquarius, it seems like you have been in a process of surrendering this for a minute. Um, any kind of just shovel within your life you're surrendering or you're going to be moving into the space of surrendering that that could be uh, family that could be situations that could be job that could be health and not taking responsibility for yourself you are surrendering that you're taking your power back you're taking authority over your life you are moving into that space of free will and understanding that you can shift have foundational shifts with that tower energy and really create momentum, create change within your own life. Aquarius, this is gorgeous. If you haven't moved into the space, Spirit's message for you here with that current energy and that something to think about with that truth, with that no longer sugarcoating, with being honest, this is coming through as the shift for yourself, moving into that energy. Maybe some of you made resolutions to really focus on the positive, Maybe some of you made resolutions or have been working on your mindset. Maybe some of you are taking January to, you know, have a no complain, no excuses January, really showing up for yourself and for others and really speaking honestly, speaking your truth and coming through. If you haven't, again, the message from spirit here is to really step into that energy in January with that tower card. Now that knight of vessels or the knight of cups energy is coming through with this energy of really kind of being in the space of surrendering these ideas or surrendering this this place of being this is a little bit hard <laughs> diplomatic being kind of the the mediator right going in between surrendering that idea and allowing those truths to come out allowing for that energy of you know um being tactful yet not being ruthless okay so you're surrendering that energy for some for some you you really have been in a space with that knight of cups energy of really looking at things from an idealistic point of view and that's okay but sometimes we don't learn the lessons when we're always in that place we need to be honest and truthful for with ourselves we can look at the things that don't feel like they're going right or the things that don't but we don't have to stay in that place either so surrendering that i'm hoping that this is making sense the way that spirit is bringing it through here for you aquarius there's a lot of surrendering that tower and that that um that knight of cups energy coming in is kind of surrendering this idea that things are always supposed to go one way because they can go another way and you can have that truth and honesty with yourself and you can also tune in to the more positive side of life you can do both okay you can do both all right let's go ahead and see the next thing is what's coming in wow the past and the chariot what's coming in you have the past and the chariot so there may be somebody coming back or something coming back from the past Aquarius that you may need to look at or deal with. This may be something that is super, super positive, something that potentially you thought got away coming back. It could be within relationship finance. It could be within 
um, family. It could be within anything, but there is something from the past that is coming in, that is coming back during January. Isn't that interesting? Something from the past. And then you also have the chariot coming in here. This is, this is a victory coming in. So your focus, your will, your assertion, there's a lot of direction. So somebody may be determined to prove something to you in January. Somebody from the past, of Christ. It could be a past boss. It could be, you know, a past lover or a past friend, something that somebody is coming back to and determined with that chariot energy to prove something to you. And there is a victory within this. Somebody is focused. They are asserting themselves in your story or your situation or your life in January, Aquarius. And it is going to be with determined, determined ambition that it could change the direction of your life. Okay, that's what's coming in. So something from the past coming in in January, something someone, something that maybe felt like it got away is coming back. Okay, what you don't see coming, you have the three of wands. Wow, the three of wands and the four of wands. So this could be turning into mm, matrimony with that four of wands energy, Aquarius. So wow, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So with that three of wands energy, you are looking ahead. What you don't see coming is that you are going to be looking ahead in January. It could be because this what's coming in, this past, whatever it is, has got you excited and looking towards expansion, towards the future with that three of wands energy, really feeling confident and having a little bit of foresight for some of you. This is, this is a rapid change with this three of wands. So some of you didn't think that this was going to happen. Some of you didn't think that this was going to come back around. But what you don't see coming is that it is. And then you move into that four of wands energy, which is for some, for some could be a big romance. It could be a big, oh, wow. This, this, this could be big. What you don't see coming, Aquarius, this is really having a celebration and or a reunion coming in with that four of wands, which has already been here. This is what you don't see coming. That reunion could be very fruitful for you here, Aquarius. So, wow, gorgeous. Now your guidance and advice. Let's see what you have here for guidance and advice. You have the nine of wands, the king of wands, and the three of cups. Look at that, Aquarius, the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So this is gorgeous, gorgeous energy for you here, Aquarius. This is really, for some of you, you are or somebody else is going to be very persistent. And Spirit is saying, stay within that persistent state, Aquarius, if this is you. And or notice those around you because it's turned into kind of a, a past into the present thing here for January with these last three energies. But be persistent with your truth. Be persistent with what is true for you, your honesty. Be honest throughout that. Somebody may be coming back from the past to bear their heart to you here, Aquarius, to bear their heart to you, to know or to state that you were the right choice and they didn't and they're coming back around in January. So really notice that persistence with that nine of wands notice where somebody is resilient and somebody is willing to take that last kind of stand to come into maybe a union, a partnership or something with you and or where you are. That is your guidance and your advice. You also have that king of wands coming in here and that gosh, king of wands has been coming through in almost every single reading. So this is king of wands is really uh, your guidance and our advice with that is to really look at the big picture. Where can this go? Be that visionary. You're overcoming challenges and really making some bold, daring decisions. Make those with truth and honesty in sight, whether that is within this what's coming in or what you don't see coming energy or just overall in January. Make the daring, bold decisions, Aquarius, okay? Because it is bringing you a lot of success, a lot of celebration with that uh, three of cups, three of vessels is what it says, but three of cups energy, it's bringing you a lot of celebration. It's bringing you a lot of happiness. 
So tune into that, okay? Spirit is saying, tune into that. Be true to you. Be honest. Be truthful. Don't sugarcoat. Be open. Be reliable. And tune in and step into that celebration, that success that it brings in for you in the new year and in January, okay? Wow. Now let's go ahead and get a couple of dice really quick. This reading is going a little bit longer than I had. In Whoa. Well, that one jumped out. We'll have to see what that is. Jumping dice. We always have jumping cards, but now we have jumping dice as well. Where did it go? And it is how. How. Whole again. Whole again. Oh my gosh. He whole again. Wow. Let's get a couple of more because we didn't get any dates or, well, we did get one date or initials. Okay. So that gives. Oh my gosh, we got police on here. So throw there, how, how throw, throw, how. Okay, so you've got, isn't that interesting? You've got double V's. So this could be your initials, could be their initials, could be your initials combined. And then you also have an F. Okay, so two V's and an F for initials. You just have one date, which is the fifth or one number could be the fifth time around. <laughs> wow. It could be the 5th of January. It could be um, something about fives coming through for you. That might be a signal or a number. You might see a five. There might be a five in, a, in an address, a phone number, what have you. But there, something about the number five is coming through here as well. But as far as your, you have, as far as your words go, you have there, throw, how, Police, he whole, he whole again and sweet. So he whole again and sweet are the ones that are really sticking out here, Aquarius. He whole again and sweet with that, uh, what's coming in and what you don't see coming. So it could non-gender specific. The word here is he, but somebody may be coming in that is sweet that makes you feel whole again. The police, not sure where that comes in, but hopefully that will make sense to some of you. And how throw throw and there okay P throw police there that doesn't sound very nice does it how police throw there maybe but he whole again sweet so some of you are going to be feeling whole again and feeling pretty sweet in january okay now let's go ahead and pick Let's check out. This is the first time I'm doing charms on the channel. I do do charms, but I haven't done them on the channel. So let's just get a couple and see what else comes through. You can't see, but I am not looking here. All right. So you've got dream and the butterfly. There are a couple different butterflies. So we're going to go ahead and start with dream. You have dreams. So for some of you in January, hopefully you can see that. There is going to be a dream coming true, and it may be that he or she, right? The word was he, that sweetness coming back in or feeling whole, okay? Wow, this is really, really just gorgeous, Aquarius. Some of you are having a, a dream come true or a fulfilled energy coming through in January. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. And that one wants to come with that four of wands. That's where, that's where it is being indicated for that to be put. That four of wands energy, the dream coming true. All right. For some of you, you've dreamed of this instance happening and it's coming through in the new year in January for you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Now, then we also have a butterfly. Now, there are a few different butterflies in this, in my charm kit here. But this butterfly is coming through with this energy of triumph, of change, of really, really having this beautiful, beautiful success in January. Okay? So, Aquarius, you have, this is like transformation. And we're back, Aquarius. Many of you don't know this, but we just took a 20 to 30 minute break going out of, rolling out of 2022 as today, as of filming, this is December 31st and into and through January with a bang. My device battery was 
not fully charged, but very charged before beginning the reading, and it died. We're also in retrograde, so all of that there, So, but we're back. Um, so again, here with the butterfly, you're going to see that power director somewhere in the corner whenever I need to splice two readings together. I don't do editing very much. I might edit this one with some, <laughs> but I don't do editing unless there is a technical difficulty. The battery dies, the memory runs out, something like that. So you'll see that power director. Anyway, back to the butterfly. This butterfly is coming through in January as a transformation. This is really kind of this whimsical energy. Hopefully you can see that there. This whimsical energy, this energy of feeling happy, feeling hopeful, feeling very, you know, almost like this rebirth or this new beginning, feeling as if you're living your whole life, right? Whole again uh, in January, something coming back, whatever it may be for you here, Aquarius. This is bringing a lot of hope, a lot of joy, a lot of whimsical happy energy with the butterfly and it's being indicated that the butterfly is actually meant to go on the tower card so you've got a lot of big things coming in in january aquarius a lot of beginnings a lot of truths a lot of honesty something coming back from the past that that potential with what you don't see coming here with that three of wands and four of wands energy and a lot of celebration in January and then also remember that you do have that whole again that sweet energy um, the he coming through here you could be male or this could be a male coming back in however that resonates for you in whatever way it resonates for you here Aquarius but there is a lot of sweetness there's sweet energy that's gonna be thrown into sweet energy thrown into and throughout your January feeling whole again, feeling as if you are um, having your dreams come true with that dream charm here in January, Aquarius. What a gorgeous month it will be for all of us. All right. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon subscribe wink wink we we haven't yet there's still time hit that 10,000 subscriber goal so if you haven't subscribed why not you're here you're watching the readings hit the subscribe button let's get to that 10,000 subscriber goal before 2023 rolls around if not we'll just keep chugging along all right uh, it is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the lucky stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. This is Cat Star here signing off for 2022. What a year it has been. Twists and turns, lots of love, lots of joy, lots of happiness, and some heartache, heartbreak uh, for many, if not all of us. And, you know, th that's what comes with life what comes with life being alive being you know here on this earth brings a bowl so that we can appreciate one side or we can appreciate all that we have and have gratitude for all that we have we wouldn't be able to see all the beauty around us if we didn't sometimes see a little bit of darkness Aquarius. so i wish for you in january in 2023 in the new year all that joy love and lessons growth experiences that will fulfill you on your journey. All right. Oh, so again, Cat Star here signing off for 2022. I will see you again right around the corner in 2023. Bye for now.